Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. So before we can do any analysis, we have to be able to access our variables. Now in the first course in R, most likely you have been taught about the attach command. We, once we've loaded data frame, we can attach the data frame and then we can access the variables. Now if you read around people advise you against using the attach and detach commands because you can get into all sorts of difficulties and we're going to look at a couple of things, models that you could get into using this procedure. And so we'll also talk about alternatives. Well, why do they teach you the attach command if there's so many disadvantages with it? Well, it's because that, well, it's if we don't use the attach command, we have to type a bit more to do what we want. And when you're learning it, you don't want to be faced with looking at more kind of complicated looking code, which you'd get if you don't use the attach command. All right, I've got here two data frames, D1, D2. Okay, what you notice is that both of them share the same variable x, although the x mean different things. Because I haven't attached anything, I've just loaded them. If I type x, I get object x not found because R doesn't know where to look. Or it's looking, but it doesn't see anything. So what we learn is that we can use the attach command and then we can access the variable. So let's attach data frame D1. Okay, I've attached T1, so now when I type X, it can see it. D1 is looking there. And now when I do computations and I call on X, it's looking at the X in data frame D1. For example, if I look at the mean of this vector X, 3. Once we've finished with that data frame, it's practice, good practice to detach it. So now when we type in X, cannot find it. Can we attach more than one data frame at a time? We'd want to do this if we want to work with more than one data frame. The answer is yes. And this is where the problem occurs. I attach D1 and attach D2, but both of them contain a variable X, so it's a name collision here. Which one is actually looking at? Let's type X, 232, that belongs to 2132 D2 the final one that you attached. Okay, so that's the first thing. So we type X here, you're not calling on, if you wanted the X from D1, you're not getting it. Second thing, suppose that I attach D1, now you might say I've attached D1 already, so just doing it, it'll just ignore your command, right? Well, it won't. Now suppose that I want to access and then you work with X, all right, which is from D1. Now working along you decide that you want now to work with uh, D2, the X in D2, um, so you want to detach D1. Oh, sorry, let's detach it, get rid of that. So that's now I've got the X for D2. And say I'm finished with this as well. So I detach D2. And then I do other stuff, and then I create a variable X, and then I call on X. D How come I've still got X? You've still got the X, and this X is the X for D1 because you've attached it twice. Okay, and that is because, yes, you attached it twice, and so when you detached it, you didn't kind of remove it completely because one copy of it's still there. So let's just show you. If you attach, again, D1, to find out how many copies of the, of uh, 
these data frames you have, you can use search. Now this tells you here, look, looking under here, you can see the packages and the objects available here. Because D1 is there twice. So even if you detached it once, you think you've got rid of it, you haven't. There's still one copy of it. Now 